my name is Fire Fury. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fuel Your Drive. I'm your host, Josh York, and today we're going to be talking about personal trainers. Uh, often I get a lot of questions in regards to personal trainers, and you know, the question is really what it comes down to is how how can a personal trainer scale? Right, being a trainer on their own, like, is it scalable? Can you scale it? Well, I like to always say, a personal trainer and a doctor are exactly the same. A doctor without patients is unemployed, and a trainer without clients is unemployed. And you're only as good as how many people you can see throughout that day, right? You you have to, uh, you know, you eat what you kill. And at the end of the day, you know, you're you, you have limited you have limited ability. So, you know, that was part of the reason how I kind of started Gym Guys. I've always been in the fitness industry and I love helping people and I love fitness. I love being in shape and I love seeing, you know, other people get in shape and change lives. And, you know, nothing's better than being able to see someone lose 100 pounds or help someone make the sports team or whatever it may be. But I always knew that I can't do this forever because there's only X amount of hours in the day and there's only X amount of people that I can see during that day. So, the reason I created the franchise was because, you know, if you want to make money, you need to be made with making money when you're not working. And, uh, you know, what one of the first things we did when we started to really scale and started to really grow, we said we needed to create a career path for trainers, all trainers, because if there's no career path, they're, they're not going to be able to scale. And, and the career path really starts off is if you if you start off as, as a personal trainer, uh, you know, just let's say a basic trainer, just doing regular training sessions. It could be, well, single sessions, semi, semi private sessions. It could be, you know, even some classes as well. But we then offer up the opportunity that they can go in to be a territory manager. They can be an area manager. They can be a general manager. They could actually even become a franchise owner at some point if they want. But the key is opportunity. And in most in brick and mortar, you know, spaces, most of these gyms, most of these small studios, the opportunity for growth is very, very limited. And that is why we created the career path for the personal trainer. And that is how you scale. Okay. And uh, listen, I'm not just saying this. I'm being very, very honest and, and open here. You know, you can try this on your own. Easy to say, not easy to do. The systems and tools and everything that you need is in place now to be able to scale and grow. So it really is an amazing opportunity for a personal trainer that's working maybe in a brick and mortar that's doing this on their own. Say, you know what? I want to come into a system. I want to be part of something bigger. I want to come apart. You know, I want to come aboard and be part of a brand so I can really grow and, 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 and obviously scale myself. But at the end of the day, have that opportunity to be able to work on the business, not in the business. And as a personal trainer, you're always working in that business daily. And I understand I used to do it. I trained people for almost what, 10 to 12 years it's a grind, right? You're up super early. You work till about noon. Then you have a break and you start again around four and you go till about seven, eight o'clock at night. Um, if you're really putting in that work, you go even later than that. So it's a lot of work. And I, I remember those days when, you know, it was a holiday or vacation time and, you know, you weren't training, right? I'd always try to double up the week before or the week after or whatever it may be so I can make those sessions up, but you weren't getting paid. So if you want to get paid and you want to make money and you want to be able to scale, you need to be able to come on board with something that a structure that, that that's in place that shows you a career path for yourself to be able to grow and scale. And the best way to do it, honestly, as I like to say, is, 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 is join a gym guys family, because what we're doing is incredible. And we offer so much opportunity to all of our trainers. And I can't tell you how many actual trainers I know who have started within our organization. You know, we have over what my God uh hundreds hundreds of trainers now but um i know many who have actually partnered with franchise partners and opened up other areas and you know when you invest in a business you have to obviously put money out there right you have to spend money well there was no money that actually had to be spent it was just a sweat equity right of the hard work that they put into the to the business to help that franchise partner grow and then they became a franchise partner because they partnered up with one of our current franchise partners. So remember guys, if you wanna scale, you gotta be part of something that has systems. If you don't have systems or standard operating procedures, you don't have the correct tools to be able to manage it, you're not gonna be able to scale. And um, you know, that's uh, for today's episode of Fuel Your Drive. So guys, please do me a favor. 
you know, I'm doing this to put out great content out there for you. Hopefully you can learn and, and hopefully you can develop and grow from hearing some of these messages I'm delivering. But all I ask is for you to share it. I would love if, for you to also put a review on, on iTunes. That'd be great as well. Until next time, guys, remember to fuel your tribe. Take care. Legend. Legend.